Hello YouTube, I'm back. Um, I'm going to open the rest of the graves. Gonna get some treasure. Ah, oh, crap, it's flashing. Can you get the light? Turn it off. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm wearing their captain's hat, well, mask, so they think I'm him. Their captain is a giant skeleton creature, so you know I look just like him with this mask on. On the second day, um, you can get some rupees. And some potion, I guess. But then there's nothing left to do. But on the third day, that's when you get the real treasure. What, a butt mask? No, not a butt mask. Something awesome. Something completely priceless. It's a priceless treasure. Do I want to know? Yes. The most valuable. How many days do you go through? Three. So he has to do all of this master time in three days. It, it's easy to master time. It's the same song. It's all one song. You just either play each note twice or play it in reverse, depending on whether you want to slow down or um speed up. Or yeah, or pass forward through time. See if I take my mask off for a second, they'll attack me. I try to get this guy. What happens if you attack them with the mask on? They die. And the others don't do anything? No. How could his jaw move that fast? What's it even connected by? Who knows? The Legend of Zelda creators obviously don't. Because they didn't tell us. Ah well. Now you end up in this magical place. And this place takes a long time, so... We are once again going to be fast forwarding. We should add chipmunk voices. Nah. We just need to add in some music. Yeah. Look, flames. How long does it take for this game to be completed? Fully? Yeah. Months. Really? <laughs> How come they made such good games, like back in the day, but now you get a game? The guy just got Call of Duty Road to Victory for PSP. I completed it in an hour. Literally one hour took me to beat the entire game. Oh, watch out for the wall master or here. It looks like he moves pretty slowly. One of the areas is always up high. So you're always going to have to put him on a platform. I got the wrong one the first time and um uh, I do something very stupid the second, see? He's on the edge, I fall down the hole. I had to redo it all. Um... I don't see how you could have won that either way. How much time do you get to finish each uh, dungeon? This isn't a dungeon. This is a side quest. Is it necessary at all for the main? No, but it helps quite greatly. What does it do? 
it gets you a special and precious item. Hmm. What sort of music do you think would fit here? Lobby music? Is this is taking goddamn forever? Yeah, let's add in some lobby music. Hope you guys like Michael Jackson. Oh, he's not lobby. Oh. He's more music you would never listen to in the first place. Yeah, though. No. I thought that was my shoe. That was my shoe. Yeah. And, uh, I'm going to play it at the boss fight. Okay, what at the boss fight? <laughs> Here we go, something strange about this spot. So we get him to dig there. It's a magical flame, and now we have three magical flames. Well, did the leader of the ghost. It's a big po. Poke shotting him doesn't work. He will always appear behind you no matter what. Even if you're straight against the wall? Yes. How does that even happen? He's a ghost. He goes in the friggin' wall. True. Alright, so I'm a total noob to Majora's Mask. And Zelda, for that matter. I'm assuming fire arrows work well. Yeah, they seem to work pretty well. You gotta remember the strategy. Fire arrow got him. Wait till you hear him put, put out your shield and shoot. Why not just keep your shield out in the first place? Because you have to put your shield away to fire a bow. You see how my hearts are highlighted white? Do you? Yeah. That means, um, they- it's like they're two. Instead of one. Mm-hmm. How do you get that? Um, it's, uh, you have to collect 15 stray fairies in the water dungeon. This is the invaluable item. Wait, let's go back a bit. Did you see what it was? No. That is the most precious item in the game. Right. It is a glass bottle. Filled with? Nothing. It's an empty bottle. Looks like a glass bottle filled with tin. <laughs> Ask your audience to look up that video. Huh? I forget what it's called. It is, it's the Bear Grylls uh, video game. Um, what's that show? Man vs. Wild. Oh yeah, Man vs. Wild, the RPG. Look it up, it's awesome. It's, um... It has a lot of piss in it. Hmm. And look, look, what is that under the bed? Oh my god, there's a monster under the bed. <laughs> nah, it's that other guy. Okay, we're getting close to ten minutes here. Um, any last comments? Your gameplay sucks. Any last, um, helpful comments? That'll help Try playing better. And stop falling into walls repeatedly. <laughs> 
I thought if I hit rolled into the wall, something might happen. Has that ever happened before? Yeah, things happen. How do you move when you do that? Well, I'm holding my arm back, that's all. True. Anyways. Continue on to your next video. And that is the end of my videos. Um, whatever hap- The, um, only other thing that happened there was I t went to Clock Town, I deposited my money, and I went back to the dawn of the first day. Next video, I'm going to be doing more side quests.